It's hard to follow up with, uh, well, we had the tallest guy in the room and the shortest guy here probably in the room. Um, so my name is Ray Henningsen. Uh, for those who don't know me, um, I was a school committee member in the city of Brockton. I served a term on the school committee. I am currently as a lifelong resident of the city of Brockton. Um, I moved here back when I was six years old, so I consider myself a lifelong resident. I'm six years old from, I mean, I'm 49 right now. So um, I have two wonderful children, Megan, who is 21, who is at UMass Amherst in her senior year of college. And I have a lovely son, Sean, who's at West Middle School, which I always call a junior high. It'll always be a junior high to me. I went to East Junior High. I went to Cardinal Spellman, where my mother worked as a, uh, she cleaned houses to put me through that school. I went to Ashfield Elementary, so I've, I've definitely been a resident of the city of Brockton for quite some time. Um, a little bit more about myself. Um, first of all, I want to thank the NAACP and Madam President for having us here today. I want to thank all of you for coming. I also serve as one of the vice presidents for the NAACP, which is a true honor and blessing in my opinion. But I want to also thank our candidates today because it's not easy here to stand up here, talk about ourselves, run, um, raise money, get you to vote on September 17th, which is critical. We have a lot of candidates here, especially for Council at Lodge. We need you to come out and vote on September 17th and then again on November 5th. What I bring to the table, well, I've been an accountant for 25 years. What that means is, unlike most of the other candidates who have great experience, I have the experience of being an accountant. I deal with money every single day. I've worked for billion dollar companies. I've worked for million dollar companies. 10 people, 10,000 people. I understand the processes of hiring, firing, budgets, and creative ways to manage budgets. Some of the things I want to deal with is renewed focus on education. I worked heavily on the No On Two campaign that would take millions of dollars more out of our school system for increasing our charter schools. I would challenge all the candidates to, to, to speak on the charter school issue as this was a serious issue that came to the city of Brockton. We're losing $10 million a year out of our city coffers for our school system that could go to our kids, that could go to the, th this room and proving all of this stuff for us. So some of the things I want to do is obviously I want to improve our roads. Our roads are horrendous. My parents live on the east side. Go take a trip on the east side someday. Take a trip on a lot of parts of the city. It's like driving through, you need, you need an SUV just to manage through this. And even then, you spend half the time bouncing up and down. You know, we need transparency and open government. We need to be more open and transparent on what we do and how we do it. We need to create a safer Brockton. And that means giving our first responders, which is our firefighters, our dispatchers, a 21st century complex. That means we need to find ways to fund that too. So how do we fund those complexes? How do we fund all of these improvements? Well, we bring an increased revenue from an expanded tax base. That'll create tax stability with you. I can't promise, and none of our councils can promise, your taxes won't go up. But the trick to doing that is to bring tax stability to our city. So you'll know what you're going to pay. Our businesses budget 5, 10, 15, 20 years out. They need to know what they're going to pay in taxes because they can't keep raising their prices. I want to create a capital improvement plan that's going to look 5, 10, 15, 20 years out. That way we can figure out how we're going to pay for this. And I'm going to continue to advocate for diversity in our school system, in our city council, in our, school, in our police department, in our fire department, and I'll continue to work for the city. I'm here for you. I'm not here for me. I don't need the $15,000, half of it I donate anyway from the school committee. So I'm here for you, it's all about you. Vote for Ray Henningsen on September 17th and vote for me on November 5th. Thank you very much.